This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I've got a really cool one for you guys. I'm gonna teach you guys how to block all ads on your iPhone. There's in-app pop-up ads, all of those. They're gonna get blocked. Everything in Safari, it's all blocked. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. There's only a couple apps that you need for this, and I'm gonna show you guys the best ones. And the best part is they're free. Once you're done with this, share this with your friends and family so they don't have to see ads all the time. And by the way, ads can actually have malware injected in them. So by blocking them, you are greatly increasing your privacy and security. Blocking ads is very important to me. Anyways, the first app I'm gonna show you guys is called NextDNS. Now, if you go to the App Store and you download this, you're gonna open it up and be like, what the heck is this? There's nothing here. And that's right, because this is mostly configured on a computer or you could do it in your web browser. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna click the link down below. I've got it pinned in a comment, super easy to do. Click that, sign up for an account and add as many block lists as you want. You can add tons of block lists, Facebook ad tracker block lists, Google block lists, Apple block lists, everything to block all these different trackers. And you just hit the plus button and add as many as you want. Super easy to set up. And then all you do is you come into this application here. And once you're done on the computer, it'll give you configuration ID. Click this little button here. And then under my thumb here, that's where you're going to enter your configuration ID. You're going to take the one from the computer, type it right there and boom, all of your ads are now gone. Super, super easy. Highly recommend doing this. This app is so simple, but it works so well. Uh, now, once you do that, you're gonna have to set this up on your phone. So to do this, just open up settings, scroll down to general, click on that. Then scroll down until you see VPN and device management, click on that. Then just click on DNS and make sure that next DNS is selected and you're done. That's literally it. Now, almost all ads are blocked on your phone, just like that. I have this set up on my home router. I've got this set up everywhere. I love Next DNS. It is so versatile. It's free, but there is a $20 a year plan if you go over 300,000 queries, but just try out the free plan, see how much you love it. And uh, if it's worth 20 bucks a year, which to me, it's easily worth that. Definitely something to get. It's free for most average things. Like if you're just putting it on your phone, 300,000 queries a month should be totally fine. I can't tell you how many trackers I have blocked from Apple, Google, and Facebook with this app. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on some game here. Do not use the YouTube app on your phone, okay? There's no way to block ads on that application. And I'm saying that as a YouTuber. I don't care if you guys use an ad blocker on my videos because guess what? Ads suck and they waste time. If you want to block ads on YouTube, all you have to do is go to youtube.com in Safari browser and just make sure you have an ad blocker in Safari. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All you need to do is add these two apps, Adblock Pro right here, which will block ads in Safari. So you just download that, open it up, let it sync up and then AdGuard Pro, add that one as well. These are the two key apps in order to block all Safari ads. And it's super easy to do. Once you get these and you open them up for the first time, I'll kind of walk you through how to do it, but all you have to do is go into settings. We'll go back here. Let's find Safari. Now, Apple has made this a complete mess. It's hard to find stuff in iOS 18, but you gotta go to apps and scroll down until you see S and then Safari, click on that. Scroll down until you see extensions, click on that. And all you're gonna do here is toggle these on. For AdBlock Pro, toggle them all on, AdGuard Pro, toggle them all on. And just like that, you are not gonna see any ads on YouTube anymore on Safari. So you can sign into your YouTube account on Safari and boom, all of your ads are blocked. You can see all your subscriptions, browse it as normal. It is such a better experience than using the YouTube app because the YouTube app has ads every five seconds. It's so annoying. Now, of course, I believe I have the paid version of both of these, but you don't need the paid version. You can use the free version. There's no issues with that. It's the exact same process. It blocks the ads for you. I'm gonna show you guys a couple other really cool apps. Baking soda and vinegar, these are paid, but you don't have to have these. They can block ads and change up the video player on YouTube in Safari. It's kind of cool. Check them out, you don't have to have them at all, but Stop the Madness, this thing is awesome. This is Stop the Madness Pro, and this has so many different things that you can do uh, on different websites. You can make YouTube automatically load the full quality video, like 4K, and put it in two times speed automatically. It can do that for you with this application. Of course, if you're using Safari, not the YouTube app. So check this app out if you are a power user and you end up really loving using YouTube on Safari, this is clutch. Now, everything I just mentioned in this video can be done on your iPad as well. So you can do the same exact thing with the same apps on your iPad to block ads on your iPad, your iPhone, and even your MacBook. Uh, that's a slightly different process, but I recommend using the Brave browser for that on your MacBook. But if you wanna see more on that, I do have a whole video going over Brave setup. So if you use Brave, go check out our ultimate guide on that. But this for now will block all the ads on your phone. Thank me later. All I ask of you is hit this video with a big thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.